I'm Zeno Hromi for the Surfcaster Journal. I'm holding my hand a Tsunami Shield reel. Uh, this reel is proven to be very popular for a reel that just came out about a year ago. Obviously, the fact that it has a lot of seals and it's, it's priced around, you know, $99, $100, um, probably has a lot to do with that. Uh, this is a 6,000, which I use on my um, eight, nine footers. I also have a 3,000, which I use as my uh, fluking rod. I love using this with, uh, with the small bucktails on the sand. I also have an 8,000, which I've taken to Mexico last week. I've used it on the stripers and blues locally here obviously everybody wants to know if these reels are waterproof and i'm not even going to touch that because um, the company makes no claim to be waterproof uh, the the seals are designed so when you hose down your reel you're not pushing any more sand inside your inside your reel and screwing it up not to reel underwater so if you're reeling under the water they uh, tell you that you're going to avoid your warranty so i'm not going to do that i know you guys are going to keep email us every day why don't you do it it's not a van stall it's not a you know a solid uh waterproof reel neither do they claim to be but it's a great reel for the money and a lot of guys are using it for a hundred dollars um, either as a backup reel or something to have in a truck or even, you know, a standard, you know, something that you start off, you start in a sport. Who wants to go and spend hundreds of dollars on a reel? This is a really solid reel. So, although I'm not going to reel it under the water and show you if there's uh, water in it, you can do this for yourself. I will, and I am curious, to see how it flushes the sand. So, we are going to bury it in the sand, make a cast, just out of curiosity to see how does it flush the sand? All right, so we're on the beach now. We're going to do something that's not really relevant to where you fish. You're not going to go and bury your reel and go fish it. However, there will be times where you're going to unhook the fish and you want to leave your reel on the sand and you get some sand in it and you, you know, you're going to make a cast and it's start, going, to, going to start grind and you want to kind of flush it. So this is a basically in some ways an extremely stupid way to see if the reel will flush out the sand. So I'll make a hole here. I'll bury the reel in. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Some of you guys are gonna say, yeah, that's really stupid and crazy and, and doesn't mean nothing, but you know what? I don't really know what it means because I have never done this before with this reel. Uh, so I'm going to be, um, I guess, as either impressed or disappointed as you are when we do this. So I'm gonna go in the water and I'm going to flush this first and then I'll make a cast and see what happens. Uh, obviously, the problem with these, not these reels, but with surf fishing is that when you're standing in the, in the water and you're on a rough ocean and the sands keep, sands keep hitting you, you know, it's filled with uh, I mean, the, the waves keep hitting you, I'm sorry, and it's filled with sand, sand particles. They'll get into your reel, so this would be kind of a way to see if this reel will flush it. Uh, I will make a cast and see. I'm going to make a long cast. All right, well, as you can hear right here, I'll bring it close to the microphone. The, there is no, absolutely zero sand inside the reel there's no grinding at all so to those of you who like these kind of tests i guess it's a success uh, i'm going to bring it close to the mic so you can hear it or i'll even open a bale so so you can see that there is really no grinding of sand so hey 99 bucks bunch of seals so the sand doesn't get in really affordable option really good customer service and um looks like something that when it stands the test of time for about a year or two i think a lot of guys are going to be gravitating to these types of reels